Hello, um, I'm gonna make some colored sand today, but before I do, um, I wanna tell you that there's not very many places online to find um, how to color sand with anything but chalk, pastel, or uh, what's it called? Basically that's it, just chalk and pastel to color the sand or salt. Salt and sugar you can use, but if you use uh, chalk and pastels to color salt, it's not really good for making things like this. This is uh, what I'm trying to get into. and. I have a few that I've been working on, but I've been trying to color sand and I've been using almost every technique possible. Uh, I used acrylics from Walmart, the little 25 cent bottles. Uh, I used uh, spray paint, I've used chalks, I've used uh, powder that uh, I've made with color. Um, I guess it's cornstarch and food coloring or food dye. You can use food coloring, but a lot of those don't work. Um, I've spent almost months and months and months making uh, colored sand and it's not worked out. None of it's ever worked out. Uh, I finally found a recipe that works. Um, if you're getting into doing sand art, because here at the top, um, to seal these off, I have to put glue and water in it. And to do that, some of the water seeps down just a bit. And when it does, if you have, if you use, use chalk or pastels, they'll bleed. They'll have, the colors will run together and they'll look real fuzzy and ugly. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But you can see here where it's the colors are faded together. I don't really like like that, but like this right here, it's faded together here. The basically the the chalk had just out they're just out completely, just went together with the other colors. Some stayed together, some didn't. But um I mean, it's pretty good for the most part. Uh, I've just started about a month ago doing these. And something like this, I did this about three days ago. And I'm still working at it, but I don't like how the black got into the yellow or the orange or the green. I need to be a lot more cleaner on that, but just, you know. Another lesson, um, there's a purple one, a tulip, but for these right here, I have to put water and seal it around the edges, and this right here, I didn't seal it, and you can see is it kind of got a little fuzzy, and got a little fuzzy there, so that's just next time I'll do that and fix it right um, there's another one I did it has a little seam well, there's a top and the seam around it a lot of people when they take pictures or shoot videos of their their work they really don't turn the whole thing around they just show you one side of it and basically you can't see what's on the other side or how it's supposed to come together and it's another thing is that you can't really find any place to learn how to do this like you can find places to teach you how to do um, painting or making something or craft or any kind of thing you want to do on YouTube but this is the only thing I've found that you really don't have a teacher for. It's basically somebody that's in Dubai or 
in Brazil holding a camera behind someone and just shooting it and you basically have to guess at what they're doing they don't really explain how anything goes on but I did this one about uh, three weeks ago um, but if there's anybody out there that can show you how to do do this I mean also also there's another place is Japan they do um, art like this right here this is where I got most of my ideas for this was someone in Japan or China or I, I'm not for sure where they're from but there's not really many places to learn how to do this <clears throat> But what you're going to need today is uh, a whisk, um, some sand, I used, I got some beach sand from Corpus, uh, water, um, some detergent, some, di uh, some soap for dishes, uh, the, you don't have to have any brand or anything like that, lavender scent is what mine is, mine's going to have a lavender scent sand smell per <laughs> which I guess it smells okay um, um, I have a plastic fork a couple of cups of Dixie cups um, and a spatula and this right here is one of my other videos is a uh, fish net that you can find at Walmart pet stores they're very cheap you're basically almost nothing but it gets the sand to almost really fine if you have if you're working with um, with dirt or other sand like from caliche or something like that you can also do that but I have some sands and stuff from the lake that I've used and broken down and turned into powder and it basically almost turns into like flour with this but um what you do is you get this and basically shake it up. Sorry if I ramble on. Uh, I wasn't. This is one of the videos I've been trying to make for a while, but I wasn't ready till now. I'm still not ready, but I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible and as painless if, if possible <laughs> so I got all the stuff out there's a little bit of kind of just that takes out all the little stuff since it's from the beach it's gonna have little shells and kinds of different things you just throw that away Okay. Oh, and another thing I forgot to add on there is the paint. I'm using acrylic paint for this one. Um, this one's a Master Touch acrylic paint here. And um, it's fluorescent pink. Um, if you go with these, you might be able to... Uh, I noticed that these work a lot better and I'll show you later on what they look like after they're done um, but with this type of brand spend the money to get these it's worth it at the end I think if not then you can use the Walmart brand little bottles and you're not going to get the same the same amount you can get this at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any other art store. Um, with this, um, I don't know how much to put in into this, um, but sorry, it got kind of fuzzy there. Let me get that back onto autofocus. Okay, um, with this, you kind of uh, just eyeball it however much you want. I'm not really measuring it. 
Um, also with the water, if you have a Dixie cup, it's basically, I put um, about half a cup of water, half a cup of water, I guess. You can kind of see the line right there. Maybe a little, a little less than half. Um, you put in the, uh, the soap, however much you think. Um, I'll go ahead and do, I'll go ahead and get some water. And when you put the soap in, you just put, you know, like maybe, I guess a half teaspoon or so. You don't need very much, just just enough. You can kind of guess at it. Um, and put the soap in after you put the water in and shake it with a fork or something like that because you don't want it to sud, make it real bubbly in there. But you're not going to use the whole thing either. You're just going to kind of eyeball it to see. There's a kind of texture there after you get it done. Okay, once you get the water, the paint in first, then the water and soap together. We start a little at a time. I left some sand out here. I left some sand out here, which I should have sifted. Um, if you make it too soggy, then what you can do with that is, um, if you put too much water and you think it's too soggy, just add some more sand in. That's basically, basically, it. and you don't have to. Or you don't have to put in too much, just enough to make it a little bit more thicker. Oh, what I used the whisk for was when you have the sand in here. You usually, if you can put a lot in here, but you can sift this around and it pushes it up faster. That way you can, or you can use um, a rolling pin that doesn't have handles on it, of course, but anything that'll get it out of there really fast. But that's what I use that for. And you can use this for the sand, or you can use the spatula. I noticed the spatula works a little bit better. But you just, uh, you just keep mixing it and mixing it. Okay, it gets the right consistency, and the right consistency is going to be like icing. It's going to look like icing. Well, yeah, I guess I did use the whole the whole thing, but you want to add a little at a time just to kind of get it in there. And I don't have a mixer or anything. If you want to use a mixer, I guess that won't hurt either. But you can basically keep mixing and mixing, and I'm not editing my editing my video. I'm just kind of kind of getting it together here. Let's see how this turns out. This is my third third color that I've worked with. And when I figured this this part out, I kind of was so happy that I finally figured something out. But, um, let's see how this works. Also, you might have to put in more paint because that might not be enough paint. You can also use food coloring for this also. Or you can use a combination of food coloring and paint. Uh, this paint and food coloring, but see I'm adding more into it and the more color you have in it, into it the more, more vibrant it's going to be And I'm not for sure I found this video from someone that um, did it from Brazil and I don't speak Portuguese I can speak Spanish, but I can't speak Portuguese but uh, I kind of had to piece together what he had to say and